end after a short break for you guys and several long naps for myself. Let's take a look. What was I? I don't think we were going to do anything other than stick with Makoto. Probably our smartest bet. Which means she didn't invite us to hang out. That's fine. Rooftop. Nope. Classroom. Or is it the 20? Nope. We got one more day. One more day and then we will be going to our buddy Haru. Makoto. There you are. And we do still have... Oh! Oh, that is not what I was wanting to do. There we go. Uh, well... I see. It's always important to be ready, but we do need to take breaks now and then. Oh, Eiko said she had a favor to ask, but I've been pushing it off. Do you think you can maybe come with me to see her? And our bond's gonna grow stronger soon, so yeah, let's hang out with her. Thank you. It is reassuring to know you'll be there with me. Shall we go? She's waiting over at Big Bang Burger. Let's go. Go ahead and see what Eiko and Tsukasa are up to. Is something the matter? Dang, dude, is she not cold? So, what did you want to talk about? Well, um, I was wondering if you could maybe lend me some cash. That's a no. What? It's nothing real major, but I need it, like, right now. I'll pay you back, though. Honest. Please. Does this have to do with Tsukasa? Mm-hmm. He dropped a super expensive bottle of sake at work, so the club's making him pay for it. But he needs help. How suspicious. He's lying to you, Eiko. Don't give him any money. He's not lying! He totally is. I know you're all weird about the fact that he's a host, but my Sukas is not like that. He's really gentle and honest, too. He even calls me Princess. I'm the only one he says that to, you know. He says it's because I'm special. So he calls you his special princess. What do you think, Kozakun? Uh. He says that to all his girls. Yes. I have to agree. Every girl who gives him money is his princess. That way he can never get their names mixed up. Don't accuse him of that stuff! You don't have any proof! Oh, contraire. You're not wrong about that. Oh, wait. He hasn't called her that in text yet? Alright, well. But... but did you ask anyone at his club about the broken bottle? They'll probably all cover for him unless they're not as skeezy as he is. Well, um... No? He told me not to talk to them about it, though. He's too proud to have me go crying to his boss. Please, Makoto. You're the only person I can trust. All my other friends would rather focus on cram school and entrance exams than take time to help me. And who knows what my parents would say if I tried to ask them. Man, uh, well... Tsukasa, well, she's probably 18. She is a uh, high school senior, but still. Please... Even a little? I think you should end your relationship with him. Yeah, dude, she's being firm on this. If you don't uh, if you don't put a stop to this, he might try to drag you into some suspicious line of work. Oh, he already got me a job. It's nothing weird, though. I'm just serving drinks at a bar to help him pay off that broken bottle. He said I'll be number one in no time. Mm. Maybe I'll just keep doing it after I graduate high school, though. I mean, it's not like I'm going to go to college. <laughs> Eiko? You can't just do what he says. He's trying to deceive you. A smart person like you totally wouldn't understand what it's like. You're just going to go to a good college, work at a fancy company, and then what? At the end of the day, your life's going to be totally boring. I mean, is that seriously how you want to live? I... I'm not sure yet. But be that as it may, you should still stay as far away from him as you can. So you're not going to help me. Yeah, that's basically what this conversation has been trending towards. <sighs> just forget it. I can make it up if I just let some customers take me out on dates after work. 
Aiko, wait! I didn't want to have to tell you this, but Sukasa has been texting me almost constantly. Recently, he's been asking if my sister and I live alone, and that he'd be glad to help us out. Even today, he asked me if I'm still happy with my boyfriend. Listen to me, Aiko. He's not serious about you. Don't give me that crap! We've got proof, though! Sukas is just so nice that he'd worry about my friends for me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jeez, dude, she is bending over backwards, contorting herself in the shapes for this man. Wait, you were texting him behind my back? What the hell, Makoto? That's not... Mm. Wow. Imagine, dude. Imagine! It was mostly him texting me. <sighs> you have the grades, the looks, a cool boyfriend, and you seriously still want more? Sukasa is all I have! You can't take him from me! Please listen. That's not what I'm trying to do. Yeah, right. Just keep your hands off! I'd never forgive you if you stole him away, Makoto. Good thing that's not gonna happen. Well, <sighs> Sukasa is all she has. You know, I think she's exactly the kind of girl those gangs in Shinjuku are on the lookout for. Lonely, depressed girls who have nowhere to vent their frustrations. Jeez, that's kind of harsh. Actually... Eiko's family is quite well off. Her multi-talented younger brother seems to be the sole focus of her parents' attention, though. I'm sure that's why she fell for Sukasa in, uh, in the first place. He treats her like she's special. But asking a high schooler for money isn't normal boyfriend behavior. She needs to realize that. You're going to help, right? Absolutely. <laughs> As she deserves him. What are we going to do? Hmm. I'm not entirely sure yet. But I doubt I'll be able to do it alone. Eiko's blessed to have both money and a family, yet she's still trying to break free from them. She's almost the exact opposite of me. But... I guess in a sense, watching her now is almost like looking back at my past self. I was so blinded by my own convictions that I never stopped to consider other alternative viewpoints on the world. But that's not the right way to live. I want to show her that, just like you did for me. So now... Rank 8. Alright. All right. I know she wants me to stay out of her business, but I'd never forgive myself if I let this come to pass. <sighs> what is the right way to live? At any rate, we're going to catch that horrible host. I'll let you know once I've thought of how to do it. All right, well, we'll leave the masterminding this to Makoto then. No problems there with me. Oh, no call? We have a week before the deadline. Damn it, I can't relax. I know what you mean. Everything moved so fast when we were up against that big evil deity thing. But now we have so much time to think it over. I can't help but feel nervous. Right? It's like, ugh, we still got a whole week left. Uh, gotta be ready. Whoa, you sound all tough and leadery. Okay, I was like, what? It would be no exaggeration to say that this time, the fate of the world really is in our hands. It was last time too, but... Like Koza says, we should prepare as much as we can before the time comes. However we feel about it, it's only a single week. We just need to make sure we don't go in with anything left undone. Ryuji, you better not panic like it's the last day of summer break. For real? It's tomorrow? Aw, oh, crap! What do I do? You know, like that. Yeah, I could see that. Hmm, fairly easy to imagine. I'm not that bad, guys! Either way, we should do all we can so we can go into this with no regrets. Thank, uh, thank you for getting us back on track, Haru. Yep. A week is gonna go by quick. Make your last prep days count. 
make our last prep days count. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, uh, let's go to Kichi Joji. We haven't been to the jazz club in quite literally forever. Music store. Here we go. It's the jazz club that Akichi introduced you to. Places like this will help you relax and talk about things that you'd usually find difficult to. Hmm. As the leader of the Phantom Thieves, maybe you can invite one of the members here. Uh, not a bad idea. Oh, looks like for minors they will serve non-alcoholic cocktails. I see. Looks like tonight's cocktail is Magic Fizz. Let your speed and luck explode with the special ingredients in this drink. Let yourself be covered in magic. Sounds pretty good. All right, well, I was already going to invite Makoto, but all right. Huh, looks like there are days a singer comes in. Check it out. Today's a day that a singer, uh, singer's coming in. Going to the jazz club. Team members you invite to the jazz club will have their personas strengthened as well as receiving other helpful effects. So that wasn't just a one-time thing with Akichi. Oh. Did someone mention this to me in the comments? Oh my gosh, probably. Oh well, nothing I can do about it now. These effects differ depending on what day of the week you visit. If you visit the jazz club on a day when a live singer performs, a special cocktail will be served. Also, the effects of the cocktail will be doubled if it's a weekday. What do you want to do? You want to go listen in? Looks like it's going to cost you 3,000 yen. Okay, so it's 30 bucks uh, entry fee. Uh, yeah, let's invite someone. Hey. We are going to invite Makoto. Oh, oh Makoto, huh? Yeah. Hmm. Then I'm going to take a stroll. Just let me know when we're heading home. Hey. Welcome, Muhen. Thanks for coming in. The cover charge is 3,000 yen. Okay, I'll take that. Dang! You can sit down anywhere that's open. That said, try not to be disruptive, alright? Well, better late than never, right? Hmm. To think you know places like this, too. It's simply amazing. Oh, I suppose it would be rude of me to look around while there are so many people here. <laughs> oh, there's a singer here. It really is different to hear the piece being performed live. Well, how's the magic fizz? This is good. Are these the kinds of cocktails that adults drink? They're not. They have no disgusting alcohol aftertaste. You're right. I tend to handle most of the general housework at home. And I realize that I go about it in a very particular way, especially cleaning. When I pointed out that a window was dusty, Sis said I was like a mother-in-law. I chatted with Makoto for a while. I feel a little more mature. It's gotten so late. I was nervous at first, but it's very homey here. I feel like talking with you helped me to remember my original resolve. Thank you. It looks like spending time in the jazz club has had an effect on Makoto's heart. All right. Johanna's magic increased by two, agility by three, and luck by three. Oh, okay. Thank so, you. free stats, and that's what I was expecting to happen, just spending time with Mako so would put points towards her confidant, so we would be able to at least max her out last. Oh, look at the time. We should get going. All right, then. Goodbye for now. Well, that's, I mean, gee, all right, well, we'll, that's gonna be... Uh, perfect playthrough antics. We'll way. be able to get that. Get way more boosts. Many plagues have swept through this world. 
cholera, measles, pestilence, coronavirus. All these is of incredible strength. They resist all our cures, and yet, uh, and yes, some can even kill. But there is one disease we do not fear. We even welcome it. Any guesses? It's either going to be chicken pox or the flu. It is disease we, uh, it is the disease we call happiness. Alright, Mr. Eaton's uh, Whatever you say, bro. <laughs> Did you think I was only being dramatic? A scientific study suggested the emotion of happiness spreads in much the same way as a disease does. You. Now then, Hebeokun. How far did this study suggest personal happiness can spread? Maybe it's probably going to be to the world. But uh, these tend to be thematically tied into what's going on. Uh, to... Alright. Um, maybe it's... Alright, so it's either one degree of separation, two degrees of separation, or three degrees of separation. Let's say it's two degrees of separation to friends of friends. Hmm. Nope, that was wrong. That's a shame. No, incorrect. Apparently, happiness can spread to your friends' friends' friends. Their findings suggested that happiness is spread through connections and physical proximity. Under these principles, perhaps it's not impossible to create a world in which everyone can be happy. I should have... I said it was going to be the world, and then I didn't pick the world. I don't know what I was friggin' doing, dude. Yeah, of course you didn't think it was the right answer, but he wasn't asking you, was he? God dang it. Let's do this. But I can't bear that thought. A world of endless, uninterrupted peace? That's a terrifying idea. Where's the thrill in a world without strife, despair, agony? Without unhappiness, there is no true happiness. I don't want to live in a world that boring. See? Mr. Hiruta gets it. This guy never changes. All right, so we'll head up uh, Haru for the last time in the game. I'll be here till morning. I can't just leave my coworkers behind. You brought in a draft? What are you talking about? Actually, who even are you? I'm so happy that my husband makes me dinner all the time. It's so easy going. I want to live here forever. How'd you ever... Uh, have you ever thought about how scary it'd be to lose our daily lives as we know them? I mean, that's what's happened. Alright. A little bit of this action. Alright, it should be good. We are not good, actually. Alright. Rooftop. Now is okay. She is out here, but she doesn't want to hang. Uh, yeah, we're here for the vegetables. <laughs> These plants are friggin' resilient. Two moonlight carrots capture in the roof garden. Nice. All right, talk to me. And no one else is available. I'm probably just going to, because our day-to-days are probably going to be looking more and more like this. So I think what I'm going to do from here is simply start skipping to when we're hanging out with people. Yeah. Just have it be one, one straight shot all the way up to the final promised day. Because uh, there's not really much else we're going to be filling our days with. Like right now, I'm just going to go back home. Uh, actually, since there's nothing to do, okay. let's hit up the hideout. We've got targets and mementos, don't we? Oh, what's this? Oh, okay, we're going to finally get hers. We just have to go to mementos one last time. That's so Sumi Rays, you might not even get hers, dude. Okay. Wow, you got here fast. Well, while I was traveling here, I suddenly had this epiphany. Oh, and she did put her... She did wear her stuff back up. Okay, so 
I was wondering they instead of giving us the instead of giving us the choice of whether we wanted her hair up or hair down, uh, I guess finishing her coffin up permanently puts it back up in the bow. All right, well. So I had to hurry over and explain it to you. Uh, lay it on me. Right. I've been wondering for a while if there's any way I can bring some personal flair to my fights in Mementos. Your own flair, eh? And you came up with something? Yes. But I do have a small favor to ask, Senpai. Yeah, we're gonna help out. No problem. What we'll do is... So, that probably... see. How interesting. Well, at the... It kind of sucks because it does scuttle my it does scuttle the 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 idea I had that uh, Goto and Sumire would get showtimes with each other, but that's fine. I feel like this move would allow me to honor Kasumi properly. So how about it, Senpai? Of course we're on board. Sounds like a blast. Thank you. This should make for one killer routine. So you have to visit Mementos twice in order to get her showtime. And it approves. All right. Koza and Sumire's showtime has been unlocked, and that's probably every single one in the game. I've definitely never seen anything like what she's planning. I can't wait for this. Me neither. I won't let you down. Dang. Oh, well, well. All right, let's hold meeting or view requests rather. Today seems like a perfect day for us to go into mementos. Let me check our intel. We'll start with this one first. Listen up. This intel is on the couple related to Kawakami's former student. They are quite the foul pair of people. They're using the incident where that child died to try and extort money from Kawakami. <sighs> what? Threatening her is bad enough by itself, but using a deceased child to do it? That's just too much. We have to do this. Mm-hmm. I'll show off my skills in front of Lady On. Nice. Okay, looks like we're all ready to do this. I already left the calling card at our target's home. There's still more. Listen up. This intel is on a guy who's so obsessed with idols that it's destroying his family. We were able to speak with him personally, but he seems really depressed when it comes to his family. I thought that he was just obsessed with idols, but it sounds like there's more to it than that. You notice? Yeah, feels like he's escaping to the idol world because things aren't going well with his family. I bet his kid's just worried about him and believes idols are bad because of that. I'd hate to see a family broken apart because of some stupid misunderstanding. I'm totally for changing his heart. Same. All right, let's do it. I know fans like to spend all their money on their favorite idol members, but I don't think this guy is like that. All right. We gotta stop him before he home wrecks his own family. Futaba and I already left him a calling card. Okay, let's go. Let's hurry and change his heart. Listen up. This intel is on the video streamer known as AI Mask Uzi, who does some borderline illegal stuff. While he has a lot of fans, he also seems to have plenty of critics and haters who are trying to find out his home address. Seriously? That's the thing that the requester was most scared of! Hmm. We can't just leave this be. I agree that we should change his heart. Yeah, it's already bad enough that someone like him is lurking in our city. I figured you'd all agree, so I already sent out the calling card. We're good to go. Nice, Futaba! Yeah! Alright, let's take down this annoying big bro. So that's all of them. I mean, that's all of them that we can actually do. Now let's go ahead and explore mementos. Let's yes, go. I'm ready when you are. Now. Since we got Kasumi's uh, or Sumire's costumes, uh, which I should reiterate, we got extremely lucky with. It's instead of time to work. Let's go, instead of being uh, instead of having to spend fifteen dollars on them, there was like a, a sale going on, so I got them for seven fifty. So that was really friggin' nice. All right, 
And now let's equip. We'll put on... Rock. Well, actually, where is it at? Because there's one bit of a. Uh, with that, because I didn't have to spend $15, I actually got a different. Uh, hmm. Where is it, though? Samurai Guard, Dance for Christmas outfit. I could have sworn. Did we not? I never, oh no, I never went to the thing in my room. All right, so I got to reload the save really quickly. We'll be right back. All right, so this time we should have everything. Yes, so since we saved a little bit of cashola, I went ahead and got more, They there was more costume DLC. I was actually quite impressed that they were able to actually pick out literally anything else. Rin's One Piece. All right, that makes sense. Karu Kazaka High, Maid Uniform, Christmas Outfit, Dancewear, Samurai, Oron High, Ultramarine Outfit, Featherman Suit. Okay, I think I see new cinema outfit. The form that Sumire may have taken if she entered the cinema labyrinth. Okay, so DLC that we'd have to buy separately for everybody else, we can just get all of hers. All right, that's whatever. Yes, the style clash, it's beautifully horrendous. Yeah, we look, uh, we look quite wild. Um, all right, so we've got one in all the way up in Kemda. Well, we shall start in Kemda then. I do want to, uh, we'll get into one single battle so that we can see, uh, we can hear, basically, because we can see already, but we want to hear what battle theme they picked for this. It'll probably be, uh... Oh, crap. I forget what it is, but I'd be surprised if it wasn't the Persona 5 battle theme from that game. Go. Hey, that's a trip. Of course it's gonna be garbage, but City Elder's armor, yeah, we can't do anything with that. Can we have one enemy please? One uh one baddie? One shadow would be nice. No? Are they all gone? Uh is there a re Okay, cool. I was like, hold on. Something changed? I'm not gonna get a shadow. Yeah. Shadow factorization. You can now use shadow factorization. When you highlight a target in battle, you will be able to see which attacks are nulled, repelled, and drained. However, if the enemy's attribute affinities are displayed as question mark, the status of the attack will not be shown. <laughs> This battle theme is awesome. And we've also got Vanitas. I can't remember, for the life of me, I can't remember what the heck this is called, but. Vanadis. Who's next? Okay, let's move on. Well, okay. That's my curiosity satisfied. Now let's see who wants a piece. So that makes sense. The Kawakami's people would be all the way up in Kenza. There it is. The shadows of the guardians of the student named Takase. Those two look pretty sure of themselves. Real smug looking. So they're blackmailing that teacher, Kawakami, by using that incident where their child died. But Miss Kawakami did nothing wrong, right? We have to help her. Okay. Are you ready? Let's go. Before we do that, though, I gotta change out of these. Not that they look bad, but... Uh, 
Let's do, let's rock Karokozaka for a little bit. Sumire, she has more that we have to go through to get to Karakazaka. And he gets Hazuma's uniform, which is super appropriate. Yes. Alright, let's do the thing. <laughs> money, money, money. Hurry and pay us your money. It's your responsibility. <laughs> Clothes, handbags, makeup. There's too many things I want. Who the hell are you? Oh, are you one of those Phantom Thief guys? There's no reason for me to be targeted, though. I don't need no change of heart. That incompetent teacher is so worthless. She should be grateful to be a source of income for me. Uh, you're incompetent. Whoa, dude, they elicited a reaction from us with that. But I guess they did directly insult someone we actually know. Shut up! Kawakami got in my way. I was going to use what happened to my son to get back at people. I'm not going to lose. I won't lose to elitists like you. We'll probably be able to just... Oh, yeah. An Oberon and Titania. No doubt way weaker than the ones that we can find in Shido's palace. So, we're not worried about this whatsoever. I don't like your attitude. Take them down. Yeah, see? Persona. Uh, instead of my Koga own, we can do our own Warpal Blade. Yep. You bastards! They took us down! You probably caught a glimpse of it, but Akakshi is rocking the Hino Kagutsuchi. I just couldn't let him not get a Kemi Nakajima's weapon of choice. You're looking down on me too? Deep down inside, you're laughing at me, aren't you? I wish this would stop. Name brands, aesthetic appointments, without them, people will laugh. Uh, no one's laughing. We're terrible human beings. Our son, Taiki, and his real parents were different. His parents were both high-level elites at big-name corporations, always looking at us coldly. That's why I let our son experience what it's like to be forced to grovel. It felt nice to see him gradually break down from working so much. You are terrible human beings. I guess this is why everyone's looked down on us. I'm not sure now if his birth parents really looked down on us. I was happy as long as I was with Toshio, but I forgot all, uh, forgot all about it. I became obsessed with money. Taiki really was a good kid. Alright, so now we're going to be able to maybe finish Makoto and... It seems that uh, the Takase couple had a change of heart. I should call Kawakami to my room. Yeah. We should be able to get Makoto and Kawakami finished, but it's gonna be a... It's gonna be yeah. not easy. All right, let's go back to the entrance, and then we will move on to whoever our next target is. Uh... Why do we not know these personas? What I do? Let's dance. That is really strange. Ooh. Yes, let us dance. Oh, uh, let's go for the daydreaming queen, I guess. Time to shine. Shall we? <laughs> All yours. We're on. Our grand finale. <laughs> We nailed it, Senpai! We get into the plan oh, right. It's tough. Still wasn't enough for us to get Go the down. win there, but that's fine. Oh, that's okay. It's probably because they're eating up our attacks. So these are much stronger versions of those enemies. Nah, we're about to get that win, dude. Everybody can get some. I can still feel the rush. Okay. 
So this was a floor where Futaba was like, there are more enemies than usual. Okay. No wonder we couldn't kill anything yeah, just by, uh, or things were actually coming after us, but all right. They still couldn't beat us though. That's all that matters. So I am now realizing these special floor events have nothing to do with why we're running into stronger versions of uh, old enemies. It's gotta be this cold wave. This is, this is definitely the first time all game that we've been into mementos when there was a uh, when there was special weather conditions afoot. All right, there's Anji Fua. Let's change his heart for his family's sake. Anji Fua, let's do this. Lily Nyan is kind. Lily Nyan is warm. Who cares? All I need is Lily Nyan. Come on. You know that's not right, don't you? What? Of course it's right! Spending money on her makes me happy! I'll do anything for her. Lily Nyan's smile is what I live for! No! He's in no condition to listen. Watch out, Joker! Alright, so he wanted to get straight to the fight. A unicorn? Really? Really? The only person that can complain about my hobbies is my wife, and that's more than enough! Just go away already! Persona. Well, you couldn't have given us a little more challenge, bro. Yeah. Alright, well... So, with our thing only costing 15, and then Tactical Spirit further, Fighting Spirit is 80 SP. Ugh. Rap. It, it kind of reminds me of uh, Chie's second awakening skill. You can only really even use it the one time before you're basically done because our SP totals are so friggin' low. 3,000 damage! Well, no one can claim it's not full of value at least. Hold on! If I'm gone, there's going to be one less otaku cheering for Lily Neon! Just let me go! For Lily Neon! The hell? I get idols are important, but that's not everything in life, right? We need to tell him that there are more important things in life. Here's the stuff we know about him. We have to convince him? Why? He's got no place at home, and he wants to get involved with his kid's life, but he can't. By choosing the correct answers, you will be able to change the target's heart. They're introducing this now? This is something This is something we should have been doing way back in vanilla P5. Use the information you have obtained to respond successfully. The only person I want to protect is Lily Neon. You understand me, right? My love for her? Um, what about your family? He didn't want to hear about them? Why do you gotta bring up my family? Honestly. Family, huh? All I've done is with my wife is argue. Perhaps not. Forcing the kid to learn a shit ton of stuff? I told her it's too much. So is he trying to have a childhood for his kid? I must but she doesn't understand that. My words don't reach her heart. By the way. But not Lily Neon! Millennion always pays attention to what I have to say. She's the only one that listens to me. Uh, you don't talk to your kid? My kid? I can't do anything now. All my money goes to her CDs, and if I have time, I go to the concerts. I rarely ever thought of my family. My wife was the one that stopped caring about me, so I decided to stop caring about her. And that's what got you into idols. You might think he stopped caring about his family, but we all know that's not the case. Joker! Tell him, Joker. Besides words, My I family doesn't ready. need me. Uh, you can still go back. <laughs> Even me? Yeah, it feels like... At the end of the re- uh, at the end of the remake... 
or the updated re-release rather, we should have been having to convince people rather than just beat the brakes off of them forever ago. Me and my wife were always arguing about how to raise our kid. That's when I found Lilignan. Lilignan was always working hard and smiling. I felt like I was chasing that dream with her. I was using Lilignan to escape my stressful home life because she allowed me to dream again. Having a student point that out to me drove me nuts. I'm so pathetic. And again. But now you know what you've got to do, right? I really messed up. Indeed. As long as I can deal with my family first, then I can chase after Lilignan. Uh, become a man or... Uh, what? Should we be encouraging that? Idol culture is incomprehensible to me. Become a man worthy of her. Ah! This has truly been a learning experience for me. Come on. So you're not gonna stop chasing her. Well, I guess it's not a bad thing to have a hobby. Become a dad your kid can be proud of. Thank you. If for it's everything. not too late, I will. One shot kill. I don't understand the significance of the unicorn, though. Alright, well, let's keep going. That, that's another one. I'm much less ambivalent about this one's ending than the dude who tried to kill his little sister, but I still don't think this was the healthiest outcome, but whatever. And now for target three of three. So... That's there's that, um, uh, there, that's Amasaki. Let's stop him for his brother's sake. We have to make sure we can actually survive the fight first. Now let's, re uh, we're ready to stop him for his brother's sake. <laughs> dance, dance. Seeing these idiots get so upset by my videos is incredible. The hell? So you're Amasaki. You seriously don't give a damn about how much trouble you're causing your family? What? Trouble for my family? <laughs> you wouldn't understand. Haters are my motivation. You dumb or something? My parents and my brothers are idiots too. They're just cowards who don't understand my fame. Come at me, bro. I'm gonna get even more famous. And he's a macabre. We'll just beat the brakes off of him, too. Now, allow me to show you my popularity. Summon. Oh, Fused Ghost appeared. Huh? Looks like he's calling for backup. Is he calling for reinforcements? Be careful, Joker. Dance, yeah, we're not worried about a friggin' Legion. Ooh. But a Legion no, no. that can eat our attacks like they're right. nothing. That's yeah. more of a problem. How about a riot gun? Ooh. Very nice. Go ahead and have you go again. Warp of Blade. Excellent. And a fighting spirit out of you. Well, I should Tarukaja everybody too. Revolution. Yeah, it is about that time. Uh, how about another Vorpal Blade? Oh yeah, everybody can get some. Ryuji, we're counting on you, dude. Show us something good with this Agni Astra. Oh yeah. Oh, alright, well that's one way for that to end. Sure, let's be poetic about it. Alright, well. We got AI Mask Uzi out of here. <laughs> Ghastly we'll Whale. Good. Yeah, Ghastly Whale is not good to answer your question, Crow. Quite bad. Have a choice. Seeing my view count get higher and higher, it just felt so good. I got so mad at my family for taking that enjoyment away from me. Uh, go apologize to your brother. 
sorry. Yeah. I punched him real hard and said horrible things to my parents. I'm sorry. I'm gonna apologize to everyone. There we go. Eccentric belt. Hmm. Well, we can get out of here now. Yeah, let's go back to the entrance. What is this eccentric belt doing for us? Feather cape. Alright. Ailment boost. Eh. Alright, but now we're going to do the thing I was talking about doing. And there's no reason to go through our day-to-day -day anymore. So whenever we're doing something, we'll just get it. That kid made another post on the fan site. Mom and Dad aren't gonna get divorced anymore. They sound so happy, man. I guess the Mom and Dad finally got to talking things out. The three of them have a little family trip planned next week, or next weekend. And that's good, or they can see Lilignan. Sure, that could be fun. Long as the family's together, right? Wait, Lilignan? What the hell? When did you become a fan? Guess that one? I uh, guess that's one family that we've saved. But I can't believe that dad was so far gone though. We better watch our step around idols. Yeah, dude. Rise and Konami, dangerous. Looks like AI Masks deleted his whole video archive. But he's been putting up apology vids in their place, as these types of people tend to do. Uh how's that going over? Well, the haters still hate him, but it's not stirring shit up any more than things already are. I think the apologies are making things at least a little better. I saw another post on the fan site, too. My big brother apologized to the rest of the family. He sounds happy. Wonderful. I'm glad everything turned out alright in the end. Hey! Looks like he gave everyone a proper apology. That's great! Not that an apology is going to make things instantly better, but... Now it's up to him to make things right. Yo. And this is gonna be our final box of the game. Magatama stuff that we can make. Oh, attack yeah. or make attacking items with. Ooh, thieves then hey. updated. Alright, we're too tired for anything. We're even too tired for that crossword puzzle. Let's pretend we don't see it. Mocha Matari. Mocha is a port town in the Republic of Yemen, where both Yemeni coffee and Ethiopian mocha harar are exported. Mocha Matari has a complex, spicy, and chocolate flavor profile with a heavy, whiny body to complement it. I'm thinking of quitting my job. What? I know our company used to be pretty shady, but it's gotten a lot better now. Did something happen? Well, I guess you could say that. It's not that I hate this job or anything. But my side job's been going really well, and my stocks are looking good, too. Oh, really? Did he invest in GameStop? Hmm. I'm raking it in, and I barely have to work. When I look at it that way, it just seems stupid to have a full-time job. Hmm. I'd say he can do whatever he wants as long as he's happy, but this is just kinda sad. Um, I need some help with a matter involving Aiko. Are you free? And our bond's gonna grow stronger soon, so let's hang out with her. We'll hit rank 9. Um, I want to dig up some dirt regarding Eiko's boyfriend Sukasa before we confront her about him. I was thinking of asking around the red light district for info. Alright then. Shall we head over there? We shall. I see stories online about horrible hosts like Sukasa all the time. Suddenly voiced, okay. However, we'll need solid proof of what he's doing if we're going to convince Eiko. I believe some of the promoters around here may know something. As my father always said, finding evidence takes serious legwork. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and start with this dude. He looks like he knows stuff. 
What do you want? We don't let couples come in together. Why? Uh, do you know Asukasa? <laughs> you want to sabotage our business? I'd gladly talk some more out back if you want. Hey. We should get out of here. I think it would be better if we asked someone else. This dude. Hey man, I've got a great club for you. We even let couples in. Wait, are you high schoolers? Uh, is that what we look like? <laughs> what a good joke. You're exactly the kind of person we like. Come right this way. Uh, do you know a Sukasa? Sukasa? Oh, is he a host or something? Sorry, but I'd never promote a host club. Are you pranking me? Come on, I can't talk to you forever. You understand? <sighs> I take it he doesn't know anything. We should try to look elsewhere. Uh, doesn't look like there's anyone we can chat with down that way. But we do have these two. Hey, you already have a shop in mind? We have tons of discounts, so it's great value. For you, the glasses discount, the curly hair discount, the slouch discount, the couples discount. Do you know a Sukasa? Yeah, let's go ahead and stop this bogus spiel right here. Sukasa? Sorry, we don't have a Sukasa discount. Man, it took a ton of effort to answer your question. You'll come to my club to make up for it, right? I could never work a job like that, dude. I can't be pushy with people. Come on, you'll get tons of discounts and still end up paying almost like almost 100% of the price. Aww. Do you like Uber Eats does? Don't follow him. We need to work. I'm a little worried, though. I wonder if anyone actually has info. So we should have hit this guy up then. Once we... There we go. Hmm? How about you come to our club and we show you a good time? You have some money... Or you have money, though? You seem like a poor young kid. Um... Or do you know a Sukasa? Sukasa? You bastard. You a friend of his? Uh, so you know him. He's using the sake bottle trick? Let me make it clear for you. Get that girl out of there. Sukas is known for wrecking lives. He breaks a sake bottle, then ends up selling the girls to pay it back. Same thing happened to one of my friends. Damn it! We have proof now. We probably should have waited. I don't know why I didn't have the foresight to wait, because we're definitely going to have to change Sukas's heart. Come on. It's almost time for Eiko's shift to end. Let's wait for her in front of the shop. Now we've got proof, at least. But she won't believe it unless she hears it from Sukasa's mouth. What do you want? Hey. Eiko, your boyfriend is infamous around here for tricking girls into debt, then forcing them to sell themselves. Moreover, he's probably doing it in conjunction with a criminal gang. You need to get out of there. Oh, uh, we should probably be more worried about the fact that we know Sukas is a human trafficker, but... You seriously came all the way here to tell me that? Get out of here, Makoto! I've had enough of your lying bullshit! I have testimony from one of the promoters in the area. You're not the first girl Sukasa has lied to about a broken sake bottle. He doesn't ask for much at first, but the anxious piles up. Eventually, he'll ask you to sell your body for money. Please, reconsider this relationship. Shut it! I already have a date planned with him for today. We're gonna stop by his club. So stay out of my way! There he is. Yo, did I make you wait, babe? I came a little late after seeing your text, but I guess you're already here. Hey, oh, I know these guys. Wanna hop on over to my club with us? It's gonna be a total blast. They were saying some bad stuff about you, honey. Like how you get girls into debt and then force them to sell themselves? They're lying to me, right? Huh? You believe that crap? Listen to me. Nothing like that's happening here. I'd never lie to you, princess. Oh, get him, Makoto. Hmm. It's always princess with you. Why don't you ever call her by her real name, Sukasa? Or are there too many princesses in your life to remember? Uh, 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 Sukasa? 
<laughs> what are you freaking out for? You just texted me, remember? I could never forget you, Makoto. Got him! Got him, got him, got him! Well... I see. I knew it. I'm the one who texted you. I'll be five minutes late today, BB. I even added tons of emojis at the end to make sure it seemed like Eiko. Admit it. Every girl you get money from is your princess, right? You can't even remember names anymore. She got that man. Caught him red-handed. Don't you see, Eiko? This is who your boyfriend really is. But you tricked him. <laughs> we had... What? Eiko? I'm not going to blame her. This is Sukasa's fault, ultimately. What would you know about love, huh? Sukasa's all I have. Just leave me alone, bitch. Got her. What? <sighs> Wake up. You already know the truth. You just don't want to believe it. Stop lying to yourself. Uh. But Sukasa is the only one who cares about me. Dude, if we didn't care, we wouldn't be standing here. <laughs> like, <laughs> Eiko, we're trying to save you from human trafficking, dude. Nobody else asks me about my day or how work is going. Nobody else treats me like I'm special. A perfect girl who lives up to everyone's expectations can never know how I feel. Stop trying to feed me your honor student bullshit! This has nothing to do with being an honor student. I just can't rest knowing there's such evil in the world. And I damn sure won't keep quiet while my friend has her life ruined. <sighs> As for you, apologize to Aiko and stay away from her from now on. Huh? You're really starting to, uh, to annoy me with this shit, you bitch. Don't think I'll go easy on you because you're a chick. I'm going to teach you a lesson you won't forget. He's going <laughs> to... He's going to assault Makoto on the street in broad daylight? <laughs> Even in Japan, that can't end well. I dare you. Uh... Your fight's with me. What was that, you bastard? Koza. I come from a long line of police officers. If you really want to start something, be my guest. What? Dude, <laughs> we can all, like, you didn't even do anything to her yet. And I can already, we already got it in our minds what we're going to tell to the police. He was a wild animal. He was crazy. Clawing at people, throwing feces everywhere. We had to pull him off of her, dude. It was crazy, officer. He has to be, he has to be stopped. Won't even have to do anything, do we? Already got our story all cooked up. Damn it. I'll remember this. He wasn't so tough after all. <sighs> this sucks. Aiko! Huh? Whoa, did you see that? Yeah, these dudes were rubbernecking hardcore in the background. Was that girl fighting with a host? They were really going at it. People noticed what happened. We weren't exactly being discreet. Uh, we should get out of here. You're right. Staying here now is only going to cause us more trouble. Aiko. Hmm. Well, I can't believe I actually hit one of my friends. Uh, that was the right move. I see. Really? I hope so. You know, I have a bad habit of acting in the moment. I can't help but get swept up in emotion. That's why I always have to take extra care to keep myself composed. My father was the same way. Though, or that's not the proper way to act, though. There's no telling what would have happened if you hadn't stepped in. Um. 
That aside, this place is interesting. Yeah. How did you ever find somewhere like this? You know so much. Uh, not as much as you. <laughs> I appreciate the compliment, but I doubt that's true. Honestly, spending time with you and getting to know Eiko has given me a great deal to think about. There's so much you can miss by living with your head buried between the pages of a book. I thought I knew how the world worked, but the more I spent time with you guys, the more I realized how naive I was. But... I see now that there are some things I need other people to teach me. Do you remember how Eiko said I would flunk a test about love? Well, um... I don't know how to study that subject. Well, that sounds like a personal problem, Makoto. What should I do, Koza? I should choose my words carefully. I'm already in a relationship with another girl. Hmm. I can't learn about romance by myself. Uh, you'll find someone someday. Good friggin' luck, Makoto. Yes. Right. People say those kinds of things are destiny anyway, so I probably shouldn't worry myself over it. And besides, I should at least try to focus on my schoolwork right now. Let's work hard to achieve our goals together, Koza. And... Rank 9, Protect. Alright, alright. One more and then we'll be good to go. You kids done with your little heart to heart yet? Sorry about that. It's rude of us to stay here so long after only ordering tea. Oh, don't worry. Just a glimpse into this fresh drama of yours is the only apology I need. It's like a nice spritz of lemon in the air. Makes me think back to when I was just a wee girl. Well, um... We should be going. Alright then. One more rank, and then we'll have Makoto set. And then there's basically not going to be... We don't have any other uh, any more time to rank, uh, max out anyone else, so... Hello. Are you good to talk right now? There's something I really want to tell you. I think between us, we managed to help Eiko see the truth. I'd probably never have pulled this off alone. Thank you so much. Yeah, us standing there and not doing anything was really helpful. Uh, you could always slap me, too. Uh, I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. I don't know why we picked that. Never mind. I'll just pay off the debt through my work to in the Phantom Thieves. I'm thinking of calling Aiko when she calms down a bit, but I wanted to get a courage boost from you before I did. Yep, that helped. I think I can talk to Aiko properly now. I really am glad I've got you in my corner. I'm lucky to have such a reliable leader. Well, I'll talk to you later. Bye. One more, but yeah. Well, I guess overall, we've maxed out. Ah, you're back. It'll be almost a year since you started living here. Huh. We don't look very much like a normal family, as usual. So, hmm. In my in my first run through, we oh. maxed out Ryuji on Yusuke and Makoto. So we got, we managed to get four. And I guess Listen. Goto too. Goto counts. But then in this run, we only managed to get Ryuji. We're going to get Makoto. We got uh, Sumire. We got Goto. So one fewer. Man. Hey, listen. Something unbelievable just happened. I'm still in shock. I don't know where to start explaining. There's other stuff I want to ask you about too. You'll request me today, right? And our bond's hey. gonna grow stronger soon. Yeah, let's call her over. Thanks. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'll be right over, so hold on. Go ahead and hey see what there. she's doing. I'm so glad you requested me. I have big news. Takase-kun's guardians came to my house today and apologized to me. They told me I won't have to spend or send any more money, and that they'll return everything I paid them. It's like 
they're completely different people. Like what happened with Mr. Kamoshida. Hey, you wouldn't be, um... Yeah, you're putting it together, Kawakami, but make sure you want to know what you ask. Anyway, it's such a relief. They apologized about Takase-kun and admitted that what they did was terrible. They even told me that I am a good te uh, that I am a good teacher. And so, I decided to really quit my part-time maid job today. I've been talking to my boss about it ever since I was hospitalized. It took a while to work out who would cover my shifts. I don't want I didn't want to inconvenience anyone. Well, now I can finally make a fresh start as a teacher. I can take care of my students and earn their trust. That's the ideal teacher I aspire to become. I bet I'll be an old woman by the time I achieve my dreams. Uh... Nonsense. Yeah, you're right. I'm still within the demographic age range of what's considered young. I feel like young is 34. Like, 34 is the last age you can really be considered young, but... Who knows, when I'm 68, my opinion is probably going to be completely different. I was always able to rely on you, Master. You helped me come to a lot of realizations because you're such a good listener. Thanks again. Oh, crap. Thank you for using our service. Oh, yeah. Today marks the day I graduate from being your maid. Uh, thank you for your service. Thank you for your hard work as a master. And this is rank nine. Right. They must have changed right. it, because I'm fairly certain you could use her services for free so, in the first um, one. At any rate, what are you going to do once I stop coming here? Can you handle the cleaning on your own? I'm pretty worried about the state this place is in. I feel like you don't put much thought into your diet, either. Besides, won't you be lonely? Hmm? Uh, I want to keep seeing you. Uh... Not really. <laughs> I think you're bluffing. I don't want to start another relationship. But I guess I'm not surprised. It must be so bizarre having your homeroom teacher in your bedroom. But you won't mind me visiting the cafe area downstairs, right? We can chat over curry. Despite how I am, you never gave up on me. So as your homeroom teacher, I'll always protect you. Oh, and of course I'll keep my initial promise too. The one about slacking off in class. See you later. All right, well, we got that all settled. Our last phone call from Kawakami. Hi, thanks for today. On my way home, I remembered everything. All the old memories from when I decided to become a teacher. Like when I was going through the courses for it or my first year as a teacher. Back then, I would have done anything for my students. I felt like I was capable of anything. But somewhere along the way, I forgot about all that. Reigniting your original resolve is easier said than done. Uh, you can do it. Thanks. Somehow, when I hear it from you, it makes me feel like I can do anything. Weird, huh? From now on, I'll support you as your teacher, so you can rely on me as much as you want, okay? That's all I wanted to say. Okay, I'll see you at school. Good night. All right. So they're both neck and neck. I didn't realize I had them both at rank eight uh, for today, but. All right, we're probably not going to be able to finish off Makoto today, but that's fine. You've changed somehow. Like you're more dependable than you were before. I like playing the maid. I don't think I can hold an office job. Your own shop. Forget it. No matter how hard you work, it can still give you trouble. Was I always like this? Huh? Oh, it's nothing. I'm so glad to have a pet like Leo. We'll be together forever, won't we? So, that last person, it looks like they went out and got a little pet. Alright. The home shopping program? I don't know. Well, we'll take a look. We, it's not like we're strapped for cash. The Energetic Set, Salvation S, Stronger Lift X, 
or S rather, the Delicious Revival set. Hmm. We'll do the Salvation hey. set. It could raise the dead. Oh, uh, well, let's do the delicious. This one's more expensive. We'll see. We'll see how this ends up shaking out. Oh, uh, speaking of expensive, we should go up. Well, we should go and hit up Munahisa. Well then. See what we can uh, get out of him. Oh. Oh, who's up here? Okay, Sumire. We're not worried about her. That underground mall was incorrect. Oh, and Makoto is ready to be finished today. Okay, gold and mm, airsoft shot. We've already got more cashola than we could. Oh, uh, so well, cold. let me not say that. We Yo. could definitely burn through every okay. last bit of this money if we really grateful. wanted to. Uh, come again. All right. All right, Makoto. What are you doing today, Kozakun? I just finished up some student council work. All right, well, she's fine. Let's go right away. Hopefully we can... Okay, so we got Makoto. We're about to finish her off. Hopefully we can also finish off Kawakami today. Well, I see. Um, are you free right now? I want to talk to you about something. Yep, and our bond's going to grow stronger. Thank goodness. Is it okay if we study while we talk? Go ahead and see what she's got to say. So, I finally made up with Aiko. Golden! I think she knew it deep within her heart. And seeing him like that finally helped her realize. Yeah, there was very little coming back from that. Uh, that's incredible. Yeah, I'm relieved she didn't get caught in his web. Oh, and she told me she quit her job. Nice. Right now, she doesn't know what she wants to do, but she's going to go to college and figure things out. So in the end, Eiko's going to start seriously focusing on her studies again. Okay. Talk about being a positive influence on somebody's life. I plan on doing the same as well. Uh, back to studying? I thought there was no point in continuing my studies, but this time, I'm not seeking anyone's praise. And I'm not trying to show off my intelligence. Doing it for yourself is the most powerful motivator there is, dude. I simply want to fulfill my own personal goals and dreams. For now, I didn't have a clear vision of what that meant. I was lost in life. But thanks to you, I finally come to realize it. My dream is to become a police commissioner. That is why I need to study. So her, her, Chie, and Akihiko can all work together. And I guess, uh, what's his name? Uh, Ryo Kanzato, but I'm sure that's, that's a deep cut. So you don't got to worry about him, but I'd like to see all four of them working together. Uh. Police commissioner. Yes, the head of police operations. It will require me to have an extensive academic background. There are too many incidents in this country that are never brought to light. That host was one. He was a straight up human trafficker, dude. I feel like we're not focusing enough on that. Villains who prey on the hearts of the weak with cowardly, legally questionable methods. My father risked his life trying to catch a group of those people. I will never forgive them. But I won't be able to eradicate them all on my own. Instead, I want to head an organization that will destroy the lawless and help rescue victims. Ruthless. We can get behind that. As long as it's Makoto heading it up, we can trust her. She'll be the one good one. Your father would be proud. I hope so. That is the justice I aim for. I also believe it will be a continuation of my father's legacy. Honestly, it's a little strange that I found the true meaning of my studies outside of my studies. Well, sometimes you gotta take a step back. 
I think now I'll be able to see the world even more differently. Thank you for all your help. It must have been difficult babysitting the uptight Miss President, right? Uh, <laughs> we went through so much. Even so, I'm glad I asked you. All right. Too bad we didn't get her second awakening, but we can do that for next time. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of the priestess, granting thee infinite power. Second's Awakening transforms Persona into a mythological trickster. All right. All right. And now we confuse Sibylle, who is, well, I guess it's underwhelming for me, but that's because Sibylle is just like a, a normal Persona in P4, uh, P4 and P3. Makoto's persona, Johanna, has transformed into a knot. By the way, you can rely on me when you need it. I won't go easy on you if you hold back. Now then, in order to fulfill my dream, I'll need to be accepted into my first choice college. <laughs> What a funny thought. Studying to become a head of police while working as a thief. Uh, just be careful, okay? I will. The objective is the same after all. Exposing the evil lurking in the dark shadows. Yeah, gentleman thievery. Oh, that's right. And thanks for helping me. I'll gladly assist you with your studies as well. <laughs> you had best be ready. Okay, well. And that's Let's it for th That's it for the party members. Evade Sigh. Now, what are we going to forget? What are we going to forget? Hmm. How's about I think we can drop defense master. Maroku Kaja and Defense Master are basically serving the same purpose. We can just have her use her first turn to buff everybody instead of everybody except herself. And is Kawakami available? Oh! Hi! Okay. She is not. What's up, Ryuji? By the way, the big day's almost here. Oh yeah, it's in like three days. Well, we've got- oh, we've done all we can, so now we just gotta wait. You got any plans today? If you're gonna train up at Mementos, I'll join ya. Uh, I'll think about it. Yeah. We should really go, man. You don't want to panic later because we're unprepared. You know what they say, no use crying over spilled soda... or something. Anyways, let me know if we're gathering at the hideout. I'll be waiting. Um, I think, I think the plan right now is to max out Kawakami and then send the calling card. That's probably how we're going to end up playing this. Do you know the answer? Therefore, in this context, the nuance of the idiom is the complete opposite. I saw a lot of errors on the previous test, so please be more careful in the future. Hey! Excuse me, no sleeping in class! Today's examples will be on your anxious exam, so make sure you know them. What's up with Kawakami? She usually looks so tired. I talked to her this morning about my future, and she was super polite, friendly, even. Yeah, I know what you mean. She even gave me advice about my girlfriend. Yes. Now that she's back on her feet, Kawakami seems to be working hard as a teacher. 
Okay, so are we gonna automatically max her out then? That'd be cool. Oh, okay, now that was just a little bit of an example of how she's changed. Hey there. Perfect timing. There's something I wanted to talk to you about. Not as your mate, but as your teacher. Could I visit LeBlanc later today? What do you want to do? We are. Let's okay. call her over. I'll head over right away. Now, Kawakami, I did not max out previously, so this Sorry should... Sorry I'm late. A student asked me for some advice as I was leaving. Okay. That's actually been happening a lot lately. I wonder if they see me in a new light now. It's because you're putting in all this brand new effort with them. I need to work hard so I can make up for all the times I let my students down in the past. I'm glad to hear that. Apparently they like that I'm not too serious. I guess my laid back personality is coming in useful. So, um... Now, this is coming from me as your teacher. Yeah, here it comes. An awful thought occurred to me the more I spent time with you. We're definitely a phantom thief. Yeah, there's no point in denying it when it comes up, so... And I can no longer overlook such a grave danger. You... are way too lax when it comes to your diet. You need to be more serious about your nutrition. Is she not gonna call us out? And the state of your room! You need to stop slacking. I mean, look at how dusty this place is. I put up with the mess because you are my client, but you need to thoroughly clean in here. Now hold on, Kawakami. <laughs> you barely did any cleaning when we were paying you 50 bucks a night. Who knows how long she was actually staying there? <laughs> we'll put in as much effort into the room as we choose to, okay? Let's go ahead and uh, shelve this particular conversation. The room's okay. Uh, uh, I will. That's what I wanted to hear. Yeah, I mean, obviously I'm not gonna actually say that to an authority figure, not in the game or in real life. There are just some things you have to prioritize over your studies, you know? Oh yeah, there's one more thing. You're a member of the Phantom Thieves, right? There it is. Okay, so the fake out the first time around. <laughs> you gotta love it. Uh, I'm just a high schooler. That whole thing with Takase Kun's guardians worked out way too good for me. <laughs> and you're the only one who knew about my situation. Yeah, <laughs> you got me. I haven't lived this long without learning a thing or two, you know. She says that. She's definitely not any older than, like, 35. Don't worry. I have no intention of telling anyone. Though I guess by my own definition, 35 makes her old, but... There are a lot of stories about the Phantom Thieves, but in the end, they help people like me, right? Right! That's so you. I just thought you were a problem child with a criminal record, but now I know better. I'll support you 100%. You're not just a student to me. You're someone special who helped me realize my path as a teacher. Wow, dude, that's... That's a lot for her to be crediting us with, but... A new path where I'll never abandon any of my students. That sounds promising. Right? For my students and for you. All right. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of temperance, granting thee infinite power. And so what's the ultimate persona for her? Special massage. Request the massage after going into the metaverse, letting you go out at night. Yeah. This seems vaguely familiar. I think I learned about this in the four years between the previous game and this one, but... Oh, man. Would have been nice! Probably in real life, probably would have been nice about six or seven months ago. And especially in the game, too, but... Oh, well. All right. Oh, well. All right. 
You can now fuse Arda, the most powerful persona of the Temperance Arcana. Kawakami's Special Massage. You can now use the phone of LeBlanc at night to ask Kawakami to come and give you a special massage. Kawakami's Special Massage will remove exhaustion and allow you to go out at night, even after venturing into a palace or mementos. So you can get... basically... Okay, let's get into it. 50 terms, go! It allows you to double the double the quality of every single day. But I don't know what she means like 50 terms, like 50 vocabulary terms? I don't want you to flunk your exams. I'm going to go the distance with you. Okay, well. I received a special lesson from Kawakami. <sighs> I grew tired all of a sudden. All right. And now that's that's it. We're going to go ahead, send that calling card, call Maruki out, let him know that he can't have his way with reality any longer. That's all going to be next time, though. So definitely join me then for more Persona 5 Royal for the what is definitely going to be the last episode of Persona 5 Royal. Bye for now, guys.